Did you know that MRI was originally called NMR or Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Imaging? They had to drop the nuclear part because it scared people. They thought they were being irradiated, which is not the case at all. Unlike X-ray and CT, MRI uses a magnetic force, which is found all around us and does not damage the tissue as it passes through. My name is Pauline. I'm a Belgian nuclear medicine resident and in this short video I will explain the basics of an MRI scan. The MRI scanner is essentially a giant magnet. The strength of the magnet is measured in a unit called Tesla. Most MRI scanners used in hospitals are 1.5 or 3 Tesla. Putting that into perspective, a 3 Tesla MRI scanner is around 60,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. The stronger the magnetic field, the more detailed the images become, which means the body can be imaged either at a greater resolution or at the same resolution but faster. MRI uses magnetic fields and radio waves to measure how much water there is in different tissues of the body and then uses this information to generate a detailed image. The images are so detailed because our bodies are pretty much entirely made of water. Our lymph nodes, our blood vessels, and even our bones are soaked with water molecules. A water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The hydrogen atoms are the part that makes water interesting for MRI. If we look at hydrogen in more detail, we see that it has a central nucleus containing a single positive charge, called a proton. Each spinning hydrogen proton is like a tiny magnet that spins around on its own axis. This spinning motion is known as precession. Under normal conditions, all the billions of hydrogen protons are in random positions spinning on their axis. Think of it as a group of children on a playground running around with no sense of order. However, this randomness changes when we place a human body into a very strong magnetic field. Just like the north and south poles of a compass tend to align with the magnetic poles of the Earth, in the presence of a strong magnetic field, each proton in water twists its orientation so that it aligns with the field. Now think of those same children with no order and how each one will line up when the teacher calls. But while the magnetic field makes all the protons want to line up, the MRI machine intentionally disrupts this field by sending a brief pulse of an additional, weaker electromagnetic field called a radio frequency pulse. This weaker pulse points in a different direction than the magnetic field, and so it disrupts the protons so that they become misaligned with the constant field. As soon as the radio frequency pulse is switched off, the protons still back to their original position, and as they do, they give off energy. To measure this emitted energy, we require some special equipment called a coil that is placed around the body part we are imaging. Protons in the different kinds of tissues all give off different amounts of energy. This is why computers are able to tell the difference between various types of tissues. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you want to see more of my educational videos, please consider subscribing to my channel.